Hello commanders and welcome to the stream. Um, we are um, in the, or just, just one jump away from the outer the Orion just Spur. Just so um, let's have a look to show you where we are on the um, galaxy map. Right, okay, so we are um, about here. Actually, I think we're probably a little bit more in the middle. Um, but we're heading towards this fleet carry here, or at least something that's not that far away from it. Um, so until we get to... Oh, actually, let, um, yeah, let's, let's do the first jump. I'll then have a look at the, the um, codex and see if there's anything interesting we want to go and have a look at. Um, I do want to look at some um, Guardian stuff in this in this sector. This is the last sector of the Tour of the Galaxy, so we are on the way back from the tip of the spar alarm here. So yeah, this is the very last sector in the Tour of the Galaxy, apart from uh, when we get back to Sol, of course, which is just a short short gap from this sector back to Sol. Right, so that, let's go in and make the first jump, and then we will... Um, have a look at the codex and see if there is anything uh, else that we want to go and see um, in that sector before we we um, just jump through straight straight through most of it on the uh, neutron star superhighway. Right, so um, yeah, so we are we're on the neutron star superhighway. So the next the next system is 261 light years away, and I'm ch I'm charged up. So um, let's go. Yes, I've been on the Neutron Star Superhighway since the, the last stream. I haven't been playing that much, which is why it's taken me so long to get here. Um, I now have, I believe, nine days to get back to Seoul before um, update update 15 happens. So yeah, no, we're still on the Neutron Star Superhighway. We've only just got back to the stage where there are Neutron Stars regularly. Um, there are all like four or five stars between. So there's 11 planets in this system. Let's charge up first. Quite enough to, to charge it. Alright, so let's let's first have a look see what's in this system. Alright, so they're all, all smaller planets, so I'm not interested there. Right, so let's now go and have a look at the codex. Right, so that should come straight up with um, the outer Orion Spur, which it has done. Um, right. I don't think there's actually anything organic. Oh, brain trees, different different types. So we've got brain trees, um, cactoida. Right, I'd be very surprised if there's anything in here I haven't seen before. Um, right, oh, so, um, I'm not sure if I've seen that one before. Let's, let's have a look on the list. Uh, Frutexia sponsae. Frutexia sponsae. Oh, I have, but just just one of each. Or one in two colours, grey and green. So, yeah, I've not seen a lot of that before. Um, column, column. So, Frutexia column. Um, yeah, I've seen that too, but only one. Um, okay, I'm sure I've seen more than one of those, but um, so so yeah, we've, we've seen those. Tubus, 
Um, Sorbus, Sorbus, Tubus, where is it? So. Yes, I have seen a Sorbus, but only one of those as well. The Rosum, I've seen a lot of Rosum. Stratum, so, um, oh, Stratum ex Exitus, Exitus. That, that looks different. I don't think I've got that one on my list. Stratum, oh, I have, but I've only seen it three times. So I've found Emerald and Lime. Tectonics, find all the time. Peerless, all the time. Um, Araniemus, I've found occasionally. And again, don't see that very often either, but I have... Um, I found seven of those, so yeah, nothing to go and visit there. Repticas, just three types of this. Yeah, let's see all of those. Osseus. Um, yep, found all of those. Oh, Fungoida. Right, so okay, I found some brain trees um, on the last system I was in. Uh, but this this is a little bit more rare. Stabis. Um, it's not how many of those have I found? Uh, fungoida. No, is it fungoida? It is fungoida. Stabis. Um, right, so I've only found three of those, but I have found them. Um, so, uh, right, so, um, Femoralia, um, oh, not Femoralia, fum Fumoralia, um, so Extremis, uh, Carbis, Aquis, I only if, oh, um, yeah, I only found one of those and Nutris. Uh, I only found one of those, but I have found them. Um, right, so found those. I found some of those on the last planet I was on as well. So yeah, nothing rare there. Um, again, these are quite rare. I've never actually found these by chance. I've only ever found these by looking for them, but I found those. Cactoid, uh, oh, um, Concha, sorry. Um, Selpus, Cactoida, Bacterium, oh, okay, I don't go searching for that anyway, Alanoids, <coughs> yeah, I found those, right, so these are notable stellar phenomenon. Um, I think one of those are the ones that actually attack you, or what they, they squirt, squirt acid at you. So they're all known to be still a phenomenon. Bot molds I found, it was really rare. Brain trees I found as well. Um, right, th these types of brain trees are one of the few things that I found where you can have two different of the same species on the same planet. But th these are from Horizons, so okay, I found those. Right, so. Nothing in the um, uh, biological want to go and have a look at. Is there anything Xeno here? All right, so Guardian Relic Tower. All right, so let's see where that is on the map. All right, okay, that is. Um, right, okay, that, that is a, a hot spot by the looks of it. A lot of people have been there. Um, mind you, it also looks like it's in a nebula, doesn't it? Right, let, let's put that on the, on the map. So that's, that's somewhere we want to go to. So, um, so we'll copy that and add that to our list.
Right, okay. Um, Right, so I think that's most of the rest of our route um, planned out. Um, right, let's go back again. Let's have a look, see if what more Xeno stuff there is. So, is it, oh, is it, oh, no, it's just one tower mentioned. And where's that? That's probably very, very similar location to the tower. Yes, it is. No, that's not. Uh, um, copy, copy target name. Where's the copy name? There we go. Right. Okay. So. Let's, let's set off. Um, right, so we are heading for um, um, Samojo Crystal Fields. Right, um, so we're going to be using the Neutron Star Super Highway. Lost the web page with that sunrise I've gone to. Um, right. So if you're not if you're not familiar with the Neutron Star Superhighway, I am using um, Neutron Router. Let's show you that quickly. So yeah, this is Neutron Router. Um, that's the URL at the top there. Um, so what you do is you set your um, start point, set your destination. Um, set your jump range, say how efficient you want to be, so that is how far off your your route you are willing to travel um, to get to a neutron star, and then it gives you a whole list, and we are we are towards the bottom, but most of these are single jumps now, whereas at the top we had a lot of um, uh, gaps between neutron stars, where we had to, had to span the gap with normal stars. So, um, yeah, that's continue I've not looked at oh hi Paul how's it going um, yeah got to get back to the bubble in time for the for the, um, the up, up, um, update which will be the end of or um, not next week the week after right so let's choose the next system to go to Right, this should also be a neutron star. Yeah, it's only only 160 light light years this time. So, Paul, how's it going? I spent um, a bit of time yesterday looking at um, trying to do trials in ESO. Um, I signed up to a guild, um, which you might want to have a look at, called um, the Noble Guardians, I think it is. Um, and they are they have a Discord group, which I've also joined, although I haven't seen anybody on it yet. 
Um, so yeah, they they supposedly do trials regularly. Um, but yeah, so far I've not not seen any sign of anybody on on the Discord channel. So I don't know how active they are. But they have got a very cool guild house though. Or two. They've got two guild houses. Alright, so that's supercharged. So now we go back to the uh, neutron route plotter, plot our next one. This should be five jumps away, which is a, takes a little bit longer to plot. So we, we plot the route there, and then we need to go back um, several stars, normally back to where the first fuel star is, but probably a bit further this time because That one should probably, yeah, so we should be able to get to there in one jump. Uh, so we, we basically we plot the route, which is probably about 10 jumps, but we first skip the first four or five of those. Drive yeah, so, um, yeah, the reason I was looking at trials is because I, I bought something... Uh, I brought I brought a blueprint to make a um, a Dreamer um, combat dummy, and it needs um, Dreamer construct repair parts, which I thought I got loads of. Uh, it turns out the only place you can get those is from a particular trial, and you can only get them once a week. And I need 120 of them. Um, so yeah, I don't know how many you get each time, but um, uh, so yeah, I think that's probably going to be a little bit harder to get than expected. But yeah, it's worth signing up for that guild even if you, you don't want to do trials because they have a really good um, guild house which has um, all the... Um, um, construction tables for all the different sets so I think I was telling you there's about 120 different sets and um, uh, they seem to have all of them all in one guild house so if, if you are constructing um, sets then um, you can do all of them there See what's in this system. 19, 19 bodies. All right. So that that looks like a gas joint. Yeah. So nothing I'm interested in looking for. Drive yeah. Again, trial trial gear is the other thing, and um, uh, also motifs. Because um, um, yeah, a lot of the, the the expensive motifs you can only get from trials, so they'll be um, really good just to farm those and sell them. Nothing there. So I think the, the next one will probably be the neutron star. Well, let's let's finish refueling first. Yeah, the next one is a neutron star.
Uh, I was also looking at stuff to improve my werewolf. So um, um, I managed to get um, a new um, a mythic ring. Uh, the Ring of Oaken Soul, or something like that. Um, it gives you a load of buffs, but it means you can only use your front bar, you can't use your back bar. Alright, so there's eight eight bodies there, nothing we're interested in. So we need to get the next one from the uh, neutron plotter. This should be a single jump. We're fully fueled or as fully fueled as you can be. So what's this? 133 light years, so it's not a huge jump. Yeah, so after we get to the next fleet carrier, I will will get off the neutron star through the highway, and and just just um, just jump normally. Um, uh, if if I if I stayed on the neutron star through the highway, I could probably get back to the bubble in a day, uh, but I want to spend a little bit more time exploring this sector. Um, hopefully, find some um, guardian relics. A little bit too fast there. Quite. Yeah, there we go. That's supercharged. Right, so it says the next one's three jumps. Yeah, so that's 370 light years. Um, one jump, I, sh oh, I should be able to do this in two. All right, the last one is a, is a short jump. So if I go to, go to that one. Yeah, that's what that's why I got it. I got it for the werewolf. Um, so yeah, um, I I just gave it a go um, to see um, how how it does against dummies. Um, it it seemed to be okay, but it seemed to take me forever to kill the dummy. So I was also using the dummies to try and work out m what my actual DPS was. And um, I discovered in, in the armor I have been using, which is tank armor, um, I was I was um, getting um, about uh, nine nine and a half k um, DPS, and I changed to the crafty alfik, which is the magicka armor, and that up upped my DPS to about thirteen. Um, so um, yeah, so so it, ha it does make quite a lot of difference, but it also makes me a lot weaker. So um, uh, yeah, have to have to see how that goes. Yeah, if you if you go into my house and you go into the room on the um, right, um, I've got two combat dummies now, and there's a, there's two skeletons. Uh, the one with the helmet has got 6 million damage and the one without the helmet has got 3 million damage so you can see how long it takes you to destroy one of those um, and then you can w work out how what your DPS is um, so some of the guilds the, the guilds that do trials they, they demand a certain DPS um, before you can join them
so here we have the next neutron star. And we are fully fueled, that's good. Although it's, um, I think it's three jumps to the next one as well, so it's, that's not that important. Right, okay, that's um, for charge. Let's see, I think we want to see in the system. So, yeah, the next system is oh, it's just one jump. One jump to the next neutron star. I also discovered I probably chose the wrong, um, the wrong class for my werewolf. Um, my were werewolf's um, uh, rearguard is it rearguard? Um, and sorcerer or temp sorcerer or templar is apparently better for werewolf. I don't think you can actually change your class. I think you have to start a new character to do that. So that's supercharged now. Alright, so um, the next system is well the next the next neutron star is free away now. Alright, so there we go, that one should get us there, so that's two jumps back. Yeah, you may be able to change the class from the crown store. I might might have a look at that, see how much it costs. Um, I also found some um, interesting things in the guild house that I went to. Um, they've got... Um, it's something I knew existed, but I've never seen one before. It's a thing that will charge up your ultimates to full um, before you set off on your quest. So you, you, if, um, if your ultimate's not fully charged when you set off on a quest, um, you can do that. And there's also um, a, a helper, which is um, it's like the banker and the shop assistant, but it's a deconstructor. So um, presumably... I'm not sure if they deconstruct better than better than you do at a table, but um, on, um, on whether you get the experience for it, um, or maybe you get more of the bits back. I don't know. Right, so that should be, yeah, it's the next jump, it's the next neutron star, we're fully fueled. 
actually flying through these now because because they're each one's um, not that far between neutron stars it's not taking me anywhere near as long to get down this list um, as it what was up to the start of the stream Yeah, didn't mean to do that. Crashed into the neutron star. It's an easy way to line up with the uh, target though, but that's, that's done a little bit of damage. Body exclusion zone hit. I'm not sure what that means. Frame shift drive charging. Oh, it's telling me to align with the escape vector, which I mean they're supposed to be really small, so the escape vector should be every direction. Heating going on. Oh, cooling down now. Finally, right. supercharging. Right, should be able to get there in one jump. So it said three, but it looks like I can do it in two. Like yes, yeah, the next one isn't it? So I want to fully, fully refuel here. Um, uh, I don't really know what it's going to bring. Um, so um, I know there's going to be a new type of Fargoid. Um, it's a it's a small one. Um, it looks a little bit like a shuriken. Um, and that's really fast. So yeah. Um, apart from that, they they've been very quiet about what it's bringing. Um, they have also said they're not going to announce some of it. They're going to leave it for people to discover. 
Um, I'm hoping it's going to bring some um, Odyssey stuff into the Fargoid War, so you can um, fight Fargoids um, from um, from on foot, which you can't do currently. Um, yeah. Um, uh, they have been working on, or a lot of the community goals have been working towards uh, improving Fargoid uh, weapons and armour. Um, I'm not sure how many of those have been released yet, but I know there, there were goals to um, to get them ready. So um, uh, I'm not sure if you saw my video on on um, Maelstroms, but they have. Um, The maelstroms are sort of guarded by these um, caustic emitters, which, which, um, if you get too close to them, they explode. Um, so part of the armor is to to sort of give you additional time in the, the caustic regions, so you, you can can fight those more. So it's sort of to get get to the middle of the maelstroms. Um, I know there is also a new. Um, anti-xeno scanner out which allows you to scan um, them from four times the distance so at the moment uh, to, to, to shoot a, a Fargoid um, with turreted weapons um, you have to scan it first um, which is really hard to do because they move quite fast and they're not as passive as they used to be um, so the, the old xeno scanners had a range of um, um, half a kilometre. So the new one, the new ones will have a range of two kilometres, which is going to make it a lot easier to scan. Which means I can use my uh, machine guns on them um, to to destroy hearts, which um, I couldn't do before. So that's going to be good. Um, that may be in the game already. I don't know. And hopefully they'll also fix the bugs with the um, the Odyssey missions for getting systems back online because um, I took 10 or 12 of those I only managed to complete about three of them because um, um, what was happening is for the majority of them by the time you get there somebody had already run, done the power up mission and they, they you take a mission to do a, to power up a um, an abandoned settlement and when you get there it's already got power um, so yeah, hopefully they'll fix that as well. Um, right, so nothing in this system. Where are we going to next? Um, oh right, okay. That is that's another. Oh, that's two jumps to get to that one. So, um, so yeah, we need to plot a route to it, and then then go back one. Let's set the destination to be. One jump in front. Hi, um, Sky um, Zenu twenty um, sixty two. Welcome to the stream. Um, this is um, getting towards the end of my second tour of the galaxy. Uh, we are currently in the Outer Orion Spur. Um, that is the last sector of the galaxy I need to visit. Um, to have visited um, every sector of the galaxy during this um, tour. Um, uh, currently heading towards, um, not quite sure what it is, but it's described as, um, crystal, crystal, oh, what was it? Um, 
Smojo, Smojo, oh, Smoj, Smoj Crystal Fields. Um, that is just a few jumps away from the fleet carrier. Um, so as part of the tour of the galaxy, I'm visiting every fleet carrier in the deep space support array. Um, now I have missed a few out because they weren't. Um, uh, in service uh, when I was in those systems or sectors um, so I have two more fleet carriers to visit before I get back to Sol um, I'm going to go and visit a few Guardian sites on the way as well and possibly stop off on a few um, a few planets to scan plants uh, I, I've reached my goal now of scanning over a thousand plants or selling over a thousand plants. I've actually scanned uh, more like um, uh, more like 1300 now but some of that data got lost. Um, yeah so after I reach Sol um, get to my fleet carrier and try and sell all the platinum that people have been selling me while I've been um, on the tour. So I've been on the tour now for over 18 months, although I did ha spend two months in Colonia and two months uh, in Sol um, towards the beginning of the the, um, the war with the Fargoids. That I'm not sure if that's supercharged or not. Uh, did my ship supercharge? Uh, yes, it did. So yeah, I have a. Uh, a jump range of 311 light years. So that means I need to um, plot my next system. Uh, the next one should also be a, um, a neutron star. Yeah, so at the moment I'm on the neutron star superhighway. Um, as soon as I get to the to the next target, I'll I'll um, stop using neutron stars and just just travel slower to um, hopefully discover some more stuff. Um, I, I think I've now, now um, scanned um, at least one of each species of plant in the galaxy. Um, not got every colour, um, but um, at least, least one of each, each species. Um, and again, hopefully in the next fleet carrier, I'll get a better idea of what the current prices are for everything. Because um, uh, a majority of what I scanned was before they they changed the prices. Um, so that was back before Christmas. Um, the update, I think it was the update before Christmas is when they uh, changed the prices. Um, yeah, so they, yeah, they changed the prices and then they realised they changed them and made them too high and they lowered them again. So I have a good estimate for what they were after they changed them initially, um, but when they lowered them again, um, uh, the prices didn't seem to correspond to the previous prices, so I couldn't really get any estimates there. Right, so what have we got in this system? Uh, nothing I want to go and look at, so straight, oh, just a minute, I think the next system. Um, so the uh, next system should also be a neutron star. Um, yeah, no, not got Elite 5 in everything yet. Um, I don't think anybody's actually got Elite 5 in everything. Um, but I have got Elite 5 in 3 out of the 6. Uh, I'll, I'll show you when we get to the next system. I've got Elite 5 in 3 out of the 6 um, fields. 
So yeah, I've got um, trade. Trade elite is really easy to get, particularly if you've got a fleet carrier. Um, I got exploration elite um, about halfway through the tour of the galaxy, and um, Xeno elite um, not long after um, they put the prices up. Um, because it became very easy to get Xeno Elite at that point. Um, you could get it. Well, you could get Elite One uh, practically just by scanning one good system. So to get to five star um, didn't take me very long. Right. So yeah, if we look look at it, um, let's go to the Codex. Is probably a better place to look at it. Yeah, so um, Elite 5 star on Trade, Elite 5 star on Exploration, and Elite 5 star on Xenobiology. Um, CQC Elite 5 star will take forever. Uh, I think that's that there is what I've done since I became Elite. Um, uh, which again, that, that's, that's um, a hell of a lot of hours just to get that bit. Um, I stopped when I got to Mercenary. Um, so I haven't done any more towards getting um, some extra stars for mercenary and combat. Um, yeah, Xeno biology. Oh, sorry, the Xeno war got me from about um, half of that bar. Um, the rest of it I got before um, I went back into the Fargoid war. So yeah, about half of that bar is a result of the Xeno war. Um, uh, I should get one star on that relatively easy because that that was probably um a week or two weeks of killing fargoids so yeah um, I'll, I'll do some more of that when i get back to the bubble as well right so we just charged up um so again we've got another another single jump to a neutron star coming up Um, I think they're all they're all single jumps apart from to get to our actual destination where we need to do four jumps. Oh, we're right, right, we're only actually five jumps away from our destination now, so um, yeah, that shouldn't take too long to get there. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, I've got enough cash to buy everything that I already own. Um, probably three times over um, yeah they, they ought, really ought to bring out something for for the people with lots of money to spend that money on because uh, you can only actually buy one fleet carrier so I've got I've got enough to buy uh, what another another three or four um, but yeah money is not not the limiting factor uh, with buying things, the limiting factor is that the materials you get for um, right, so um, yeah, the limiting factor is the materials to to run the the upgrades, which take a lot longer to get than money. Um, but they also lead to a ridiculous situation where the only way you can get certain materials is by shooting ships uh, um, ships of a tile which you could actually go and buy so um, yeah so you, you can't actually buy certain things but if you shoot ships down that you could buy then you can get the bits off those ships which is a little bit ridiculous but um, uh, it's there for the gameplay rather than um, to be realistic All oh, right, I need to actually target that star, not just have a look at it. All right, so um, I think this is the last neutron star. Because I think after this one, it's just four jumps, normal stars to get to 
um, the destination. Ah, Jukebox Gamer, um, thank you for joining us. Uh, first time you've you've joined me on on one of my streams. Um, so Malis is also uh, with us at the moment. So um, yeah, so Jukebox Gamer, if you've not played um, uh, Elite before, it's a um, space simulation. Um, it's a one-to-one -one model of the whole galaxy. Uh, if we look at the galaxy map here, um, again we can zoom out, and you can see the whole galaxy there. Um, all the known stars in the galaxy are in the game, and they, they've sort of filled up the gaps with other bits. And if we just go to Sol, which is somewhere in the middle of that lot. Um, where is it? Uh, is it uh, should be around there, maybe. Let's just type it in the search for it. Sol. S -O -L. Yeah, so if you go to Sol, which is our, our um, system, um, you can see we have uh, Mars, Earth, um, the Moon, and the rest of the planets, and all these um, things that are not planets. And hence the reason for Pluto being um, demoted from being a planet, because of all these extra things. Oh, what's that one there? Is that a real one? Um, yeah, so you can fly around the galaxy. Um, it's um, uh, a little bit faster than flying around um, in real life. Um, and we can get to um, another system um, in about five minutes, but it still takes you... Um, I think the record to get to the furthest star in the galaxy stands at something like eight hours at the moment. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of gameplay to travel the large distances. And uh, I think this, yeah, this is our current destination. Um, did I just supercharge? I think I did supercharge. So um, I should be able to get about half that way in one go rather than doing all those jumps. So, uh, three and that's too far. I should be able to get to that one in one jump, yeah. So yeah, um, I just supercharged on a neutron star. That that increases your jump range by four times. Um, so this ship normally has a jump range of 77 light years. Um, because I just supercharged, that's, that's up to that to um, about 310. Yeah, there's um, four billion stars in the galaxy. Um, the game has been running for about eight years now. Um, and there's still less than sort of 0.1% of the galaxy has been explored. Um, I'm not quite sure how they define explored, whether that's every system that people have visited or every, every planet. Because uh, again, the majority of the systems you go to, you're not going to um, visit every planet. Um, so the the galaxy is currently in a war between the humans and the Fargoids. Um, that war started um, just before Christmas, um, and it, it's still only in the beginning stages, really. Um, Um, the human race, I think, has got its first system back um, from the Fargoids. So the Fargoids have um, um, taken over some of the 
systems uh, around Earth, and they're sort of slowly encroaching on where Earth is. Right, okay, this is a system I'm going to scan, because that there is a signal for a water world. So I'm going to scan this system and see what everything is. Oh, that looks interesting. That could be notable stellar phenomenon, and it is. So, um, so yeah, we'll go and visit that. So, notable stellar phenomenon is um, life forms that um, uh, ha exist in space. Um, so that they're not not sort of planet-based life forms, and um, they're quite rare. Um, at least in the, in the galaxy as a whole, they're quite rare. In certain sectors of the galaxy, they're quite common. Um, but that's the first time I've ever found one in this sector. Um, yeah, so as you travel around the galaxy, certain regions um, have far more things present, um, like nebulas. If you're in a nebula, um, there's far more things present. So I should be actually looking to see see what's on these planets. I haven't been doing. Um, so I should be looking for the features where this is saying there's none. Um, and what I'm looking for is biological features. Right, so I've scanned all the planets now, which means I can go to my um, system map and have a look to see what everything is. Yeah, so there won't be any biological features because none of these planets can be landed on. Um, they are all, they all have atmospheres, which is what the blue the blue um, haze around each planet means. Uh, but if it could be landed on, it would have a blue arc around it to, to tell me I could land there. So I can't actually land on any of these planets. Um, actually, no, that's not true. I can land on the planets. Um, actually, no. Um, yeah, no, I can't land on the planets. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I can land on some planets, but you... you um, they don't have an atmosphere, which means you, you, when you get out, it's very cold. But let's go and see what this notable stellar phenomenon is. And um, So yeah, I'm going full throttle towards it at the moment, and I'm currently travelling at um, 34, 35, 36C. That's 30 times, 35 times the speed of um, light. Uh, about halfway there, I'm going to need to go to half throttle. That's about there. Um, otherwise, I'll overshoot. So, um, yeah, when I get down to um, about um, uh, six, six million light seconds away, um, I can drop out of um, frame shift drive or super cruise that we're in at the moment, which enables us to go faster than the speed of light. And then we can go and actually um, see what's there. Uh, so I've got somebody else joined us as well, so um, welcome to the stream. Uh, we have just found some notable stellar phenomenon. So let's see what we have here. I can see spiky boys, um, which are crystal, um, crystal shards. Uh, do we have anything else here as well? So, um, okay, I've just turned on night vision. Uh, that will highlight anything smaller. So, 
so um yeah I can only see crystal shards they're probably the most common type of notable stellar phenomenon oh there's that I'm not sure if that's a crystal shard it might be a, a silicate crystal right let's let's go and get close to one and scan one yeah I can't see anything other than crystal shards so we'll try and scan one at the middle of the cloud. Um, yes, yeah, so again, I should probably sh show you the, the galaxy as well. Um, so we are um, probably about halfway between the edge of the galaxy and the middle of the galaxy. So yeah, we can see the, that's the, the galaxy there, central bulge. And every one of the stars that we can see in the sky is an actual place I could go and visit. Alright, so where's the one we were heading towards? Right, these things are quite big. They're, um, um, much bigger than my ship. And I'm just getting to the range where I can scan one. And they do have, or at least they have had like sparkly things around them recently. I think that's a recent addition. Right, so let's scan that. Right, so I've made a uh, biological discovery. Um, it should be a codex, yeah, a codex discovery. So that's going to get me some money. So um, yeah, I'll turn off night vision so we can see what they actually look like. Go in a little bit closer. And I'll take a screenshot from there. So when I take a screenshot, I pop outside the ship. So you can see the ship compared to the size of it. And it's actually let's go in a little bit closer. So you can see the ship's about the same length as one of those crystal shards. All right. So what shall we put in the screenshot? Alright, let's try and line the ship up so it looks like it's just another... Oh, alright, now I want to reverse back a little bit. Alright, I'll pull the camera out a bit. Right, we'll take that screenshot. Right, okay. I'm better better pull out. Before it turns around and hits me. Right, so um I'll save the screenshot now. Um right, what's the name of the system? We're in All right, so it's not near a planet, so I'll just save it as the name of the, the star. Right, okay, that's everything I wanted to see in this system. So let's head off to the next system now.
Um, yeah, so um, so playing for hours. Um, it's more like years now. Um, my my, I've spent enough as much time logged into the game um, as a year. So I'm not sure if I was actually playing all that time or I was just in the menus. Um, but um, yeah, spend a lot of time in the game. Uh, I missed anything else. <laughs> yeah, again, that, that's yeah. It's, that's a year in the current version. So um, yeah, as Paul says, I have been playing the game for since it came out in about 1985. Um, but yeah, I didn't spend anywhere near as much time on the previous versions. Right, so um, that that planet we just found there, that is a um, an ammonia world. They're worth worth scanning, and they also mean is probably life in the system. So an ammonia world is something similar to Venus. So at this time, I'll keep her keep an eye out for. Um, um, biology on the planet. Yeah, so I'm not finding anything on these planets. System scan complete. Right, so I think probably one or two jumps to the the system we're actually heading for so that next one i don't think is the is the one we're going for Right, so um, let's see what we have in this system. Gotta scan the system first. Yeah, there's nothing here, just a star. Frameshift drive charging. Right, and I think this is, yeah, this is. Right, so this is the target. Um, I'm um, not 100% sure what it was. It was just said it was uh, a place of interest on the map. So we put this in as a target. So let's see what's here. So again, um, all the planets are already showing. So it's obviously been visited before, which is what we'd expect. There's a water world. So, um, oh, I think it's probably more notable stellar phenomenon. I think, yeah, more, probably more notable stellar phenomenon. So that's probably what the, uh, why it was, um, uh, noted. And it does, rec does, does call it crystal fields, which would make sense more, more of what we just saw. Yeah, so it's notable sort of phenomenon there. Oh, there's more than one of them. Oh, 
Right, so yeah, um, this is just scanning. Um, it's, it's actually not scanning, we've already scanned the system. This is just processing the data to find out what it is um, we've actually found when we scan the system. That's another notable stellar phenomenon. So um, that's, that's so there's one more planet to find. There it is. Right, so um, let's go to the closest notable stellar phenomenon first, uh, which we've already got. Got um, selected. Right, so that's 3,000 light seconds away. Um, now, when you're within a system, you you um, uh, uh, still fly faster than the speed of light, but it's not as fast as when you're traveling between systems. Um, you can do that almost instantly. So, um, you know, I was traveling um, like 300 light seconds almost instantly. This this you do have to wait a little bit to get there. So, 3,000 light seconds um, is probably um, probably Two, two, um, two or three minutes. So um, let's see what's in there. So yeah, th this arc here means we can actually land on the planet. Um, these ones with blue hazes mean um, they have an atmosphere. That one's got rings, so you can mine the rings. Um, but there's no planets with an atmosphere and rings so um, and, um, that, that we can land on. Um, and it has an atmosphere, so the chances of finding life, uh, apart from the um, notable stellar phenomenon, um, is quite low. So if we do find plant life, we can actually land on the planets and get out of the ship and um, um, scan it. Uh, we have um, uh, two SRVs, which are surface reconnaissance vehicles in the ship, that we can um, go out and drive around on, uh, or we can just get out and walk walk around. Um, uh, uh, you can get um, little fighters for fighting. Um, I don't have any on this ship because it's an exploration ship. But the yeah the the fighters um, they can either be um, flown by, or you can hire uh, an NCP to fly it for you. Although if you do hire an NCP, they do take a cut of. Um, your profits and your skill gained. So, um, nearly at the point. So we, we are sort of decelerating at full full speed now, which is why the, the time to arrive, which is the bottom number in the middle of the screen, is not changing, but the distance is. Oh, we've got a white, a white cloud this time. And pink, pink crystal shards. So, oh. Go and scan one of those. Um, you get a little bit of money for scanning these, not a lot. Um, but as as um, Sir Mel has mentioned earlier, um, I don't really have much much need for money at the moment. Um, I have um, I think it's about 30 billion in cash. Yeah, very close to 30 billion in cash. And if if you stay on and we get to the next fleet carrier, which it shouldn't be many jumps away. Um, that will probably go over 30 billion because I've, I've got um, about 100 plants to sell. And at the moment, that's one of the fastest ways of making money. Um, but again, that wasn't my, my um, reason for doing a tour of the galaxy. Because um, when I started the tour of the galaxy, the plants were worth 
uh, virtually nothing. Right. Okay. That is that is saying. I'm gonna show me a different thing. So, um, purple metallic crystal. Let's let's scan it. See what it actually it changes anything. So, uh, biological discovery. Um, yeah, I've got codex discovery as well. Uh, right, let's 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 take a screenshot because we've got an interesting background here. Let's um, let's try and find a good background where we've got a lot of that cloud in there. These ones don't have the sparkly things around them like the last the last ones we saw. All right, so I'm going to go outside the ship again, um, but this time I'm going to. Let's do a more sort of standard view of it. Right. Uh, I think for this screenshot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my shields. And then um, take the screenshot when I turn them back on again. So if I turn off my shields, we should see a blue thing. Right, so um, I didn't actually turn off my shields. I went into silent running, which means my, my ship is no longer venting heat, which means um, it's now rapidly heating up. So when I turn that off, all the vents will open uh, for a brief time and glow, um, glow orange. So um, that will all be in the screenshot. So... Um, that's probably long enough. I'll turn them back on again. Right, so I got that in the screenshot. So um, I'll just save that. Um, I know what system I'm in, so I don't need to go and look at the system. Right, okay, so there's there's another set of notable stellar phenomenon in this system for us to go and look at, so we'll go and look at those now. Um, so to do that, I need to come to the list of things. Right, so this one is actually in the opposite direction to the last, what we found. Um, see, my shields are still, still rebooting. Um, I shouldn't need shields around here. There's very unlikely going to be um, anybody to attack me. So I'm still, I don't know, um, probably 10, 10 or 20 thousand light years away from, from Earth. Uh, a majority of the um, activity um, is around Earth um, and it is, it's like um, um, maybe 500 light year bubble um, or 500 light year radius bubble where a majority of the stuff happens. Uh, there is another bubble of activity um, called Colonia. So you see m most of the activity happens here where all those um, bookmarks are, so in that area. Uh, but there's also a, a bubble over here which is called Colonia. Um, it's much much smaller population Um, yeah, so that's sort of based on the edge of this nebula, um, and uh, there's probably, I know, maybe a hundred systems here um, with life, uh, whereas back in the bubble there, there's thousands of them. So that's actually, so if I change the filters on here, so map mode, um, if I go to... Um, Government that should show it. So um, everything that's not white is populated. So um, yeah, so that's maybe not the best way. Um, 
but yeah, so I, I normally, when I'm touring the Galaxy, I normally um, view it by star class. And um, I have these ones turned off. These are the ones that you can't use to refuel. And if I click on this apply route, that means um, when I'm navigating around the Galaxy, I will only visit the stars where I can refuel. They also happen to be the stars that are most likely to um, find something interesting. There's a nebula over there, so um, there's a couple actually. So that that is a nebula, and there's a, a blue one over there. I think that's a galaxy. That one, um, and I think I think that one is a nebula, and I think that one over there may, may be a galaxy. Yeah, we are, we are limited to the galaxy of the Milky Way. Um, you can see the other galaxies in the distance, but yeah, we, we can only uh, only travel to stars in the Milky Way. Uh, so I missed what they were, Fargoids. All ah, right, in the notable stellar phenomenon, they were more crystal shards. Uh, not crystal shards. Um, it's crystal shards are from 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 um, ESO. They were um, uh, just crystals, basically ice crystals, but of different different elements. So they were purple metallic in the last one we saw. Let's see what these are. Well, they're not purple. It looks like we've got two different colours here. So we've got some yellow ones and some whiter ones Can't see anything here smaller than crystal shard. Not crystal shard, what the ice crystals. So we'll scan one of each colour. Um, won't bother doing another screenshot. And then we will plot a route for the fleet carrier. So a fleet carrier is um, a ship owned by players. Um, you can dock at them and refuel. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to sell my data. That depends whether they've uh, added that particular functionality to the fleet carrier. So, yeah, there's a biological discovery there. Um, let's see if the yellow ones are different. Uh, we see um, see at the side of the screen because they've got close to the crystal shards um, and they have an actual slight atmosphere uh, that means it cools the ship down when you get close to them um, um, so the, where it says a percentage in the middle of the screen that is my um, temperature I'm not quite sure what's the percentage of but if I get really close to this so that its atmosphere is sort of affecting me that temperature will probably start to plummet. Alright, so all right, so the yellow ones don't seem to have an atmosphere, okay. Alright, we'll scan it. Right, so yeah, the, the ones with an atmosphere, so the purple ones, or the, the blue ones, yeah, so the, yeah, see they've got green atmosphere. When you get into that green atmosphere, it actually cools your ship down. Uh, 
Oh, so yeah, the, the, I'd love to know what the sparkly things are in the atmospheres. Um, they are a recent addition, it never used to do that. Yeah, so my, my ship is cooling down now, so when it gets towards zero, you'll see the um, condensation start to freeze on the inside of the window, window screen, the cockpit. Yeah, so it's beginning to freeze around the edges. So yeah, there's, there's a little bit of ice there we can see forming on the screen around the edges. Right, okay, um, let's plot a route for the fleet carrier now. So back to the galaxy map. Um, So the fleet carrier is in this system, um, uh, very, very um, catchy name of NGC three one nine nine sector XJA D ten, and the carrier we're going to in there is called the DSS A um, current. And that is, oh, it's not in the nebula, but it's very close to this nebula over here. So, um, 600 light years, uh, nine jumps. So that's going to take us, um, I don't know, a quarter of an hour to get there, maybe. So um, that is also roughly the time I have left uh, on this stream. <laughs> yeah, more followers. Uh, okay, I'm not I'm not streaming regularly enough to keep followers at the moment because uh, I'm spending most of my time um, playing e ESO with you when I would be streaming. Um, but yeah, when I get back to the bubble, uh, I think I'm probably going to um, advertise a little bit more and also do some some more fun stuff because um, yeah, the, these. Tour of the Galaxy stream is mainly to document the Tour of the Galaxy, it's not really to get followers. Um, uh, but yeah, um, I um, remember I said I was going to do the um, um, Goliath surfing, I've still still not got around to giving that a go. Well, not, not a serious go with a, a suit that would be um, good for it. So yeah, there's a lot, a lot of stuff in this system, including... Um, uh, more notable stellar phenomenon. So, seems to be quite a lot of that around here. Let's, let's see if we can find the notable stellar phenomenon. Uh, there it is. It's on the other side of the sun. All right. Let's let's travel around a little bit. Yes, yeah, so a notable stellar phenomenon is one of the things um, I said I'll, I'll always stop and scan if I see it. Um, and there seems to be quite a lot of it in this sector. All right, so how far is that? Oh, it's only only a thousand light seconds away, so um, a minute, minute or two to get there. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, I'll do some more fun stuff and some how-to videos. Um, I want to do some um, how-to videos on. Um, different mission types in order to see um, mining, um, collecting, collecting other resources. Um, yeah, hopefully they'll get a, um, uh, the YouTube videos from them will get um, better hits than um, randomly named sectors of the galaxy. Right, so where, what's the name of the system we're in at the moment? All right, so I'm going to start slowing down in a second.
Yeah, I also might get involved in the politics when I get back to the ball. Um, see, see how, see how that goes. Because um, yeah, I've not, I'm not, I've never tried to influence the politics before. So, um, other than joining um, certain of the um, power play groups to um, get their weapons and stuff. All right, so nearly at a point where we can drop out. All right, what do we have here? Um, I think these might be silicates. Um, I think possibly got a mixture. So it's definitely spiky boys. I think we got silicates as well. Yeah, they're definitely silicates. Oh, and these have got pink clouds around them. Right, these are probably going to cool the ship down. These are definitely ice crystals, so... Alright, I'm going to try and get a screenshot of that sparkly thing that's happening, but I've never... Oh, that's quite good. I think I'll just take that. And just move, move the... Right, I think I like that as a screenshot. Zoom there. Right, so let's go and scan all those silicates. So the, these are um, sort of chunkier, chunkier crystals, uh, not so spiky. And it looks like we've got another discovery on that. Right, okay, let's now head off to the next system. Right, this looks like a neutron star. A neutron star? I wasn't expecting another neutron star. Nope. Fuel scoping. Right, 12 bodies. Um, so someone's visited this system before. Because we, we can see the planets showing up on the, the map without scanning them. Let's see what they are. Oh, there, there is another right. So this this area is full of full of notable stellar phenomenon. So we also have a water world as well. Oh, 
I said nothing there. So that's the water world. Warning, taking heat damage. All right, so let's let's travel away from that stop before we uh, scan the rest of the system. All right, I should do it. It's a notable stellar phenomenon. And there is another one. I'll go visit one of them. I'm not going to visit both as there's so many things there. Alright, so there's also two more planets and they are both behind the star. So let's go and visit that first one. Actually, let's, let's go and visit the closest one. Um, uh, not a lot in it. And we'll scan them behind the star when we get there. Um, right, so ultimate country. Um, thanks for the offer, ultimate. Um, yeah, I don't need anybody to promote the channel. Thanks. <laughs> I haven't worked out how to do how to do that yet. Um, I'm, I'm presuming that that's going to come through. Yeah, it's come through on on, um, on the video as well. Right, let's try that. Yep, so um, I've made you a moderator. Not quite sure what that enables you to do. Um, uh, but we've just arrived. Uh, it looks like we've got more purple metallic ones. <laughs> All right, are these going to start sparkling when we, sparkling when we get close? too far away to scan it at the moment. Right, let's let's take a screenshot. Well, got 
All right, let's, let's um, go out a little bit further this time for the screenshot. All right, let's take that as a screenshot. All right, and need the name of the system we are in. All right, so that's a screenshot saved. Let's scan those other two. Uh, we need to go back to super screws before we can do that. We'll scan those other two planets. So um, they were behind the star, so they should be pretty close to the star now. Oh, there's one. There's no biology there. All right, okay. So um, that's this system done. Um, and I'll get off to the next one. How many jumps we've got left? Seven. So yeah, those last few jumps took a lot longer than expected because we keep finding stuff. Nothing in that system. Um, there's actually an update to Animes today, so I'm wondering, wondering if there's anything new in there that, that um, I've not played with before. doesn't really work well with the um, the avatar model all right that dance is going on a lot longer than I expected it to does he, does he have a finish no he does Right, nothing in that system. Um, right, cool down a little bit before. Uh, another dance. Oh, I can twerk apparently. I'm not quite sure how twerking works when you're facing the person. Uh, and your, your avatar didn't actually have a bottom, but okay. Alright, what's in this system? Nothing. Straight up to the next one. Alright, so there's nothing new in there, I don't think. Um, I've got some wobble. Oh. Um, voice effects. Right, can't actually see anything that's been improved or changed that I actually use. So maybe it's just behind the scenes stuff. Feel scoping. Feel scoping. 
Right, okay. So that, that nebula's getting bigger. So um, I know where we're heading to is uh, pretty close to that. Uh, we have we have another another um, notable solar phenomenon. Right, I don't know how many notable solar phenomenon I've missed on the tour of the galaxy because um, they um, I think all the ones I've found have been in four sectors out of the 42 sectors. Um, and uh, again, I, I knew there was notable stellar phenomenon in those sectors, so I was probably looking a little bit harder. But it, it's in a very similar range to asteroid belts on the scanner. All right, so um, I've only got 10 more minutes to go for the stream, so I'm gonna end the stream um, about nine o'clock, which means we probably won't get to the fleet carrier. Um, I do want to get the, the next bit in the fleet carrier on video, so um, I will stream I will stream that bit too. And also we have two notable stellar phenomenon. I'll get I'll go and visit the closest one. All right, so let's see which one's closest. Oh, it's just 300 light seconds away, so that's not going to take long to get there. All right, still four jumps. So yeah, we're not going to get to the fleet carrier in this stream and and visit this. Quite a nice looking nebula there, although it's a brown one. I don't like the brown ones as so much as the uh, the blue ones and the pink ones. the name of the system. Well, I can only see one colour of crystal here. Okay, so I was going to um, uh, yeah, I'll I'll um, I'll do a raid um, when we end the stream. Um, I can see there's two people streaming Elite, so I'll send you there. We have Stargoid, um, so um, I imagine he's quite a new player because Stargoid's only been around for is a new term within Elite, so um, he's got 12 people watching him and we got um, a cow for all seasons.
Right, okay, so uh, I think I'm going to send you to Stargoid. So let's scan this. So, biological discovery made there. there are lots of nice sparkly bits. Oh, is that a different colour? We've got oh, we've got we've got green ones and purple ones. Okay, let's go and scan a purple one as well. what that noise was there. And biological discovery made there as well. Right, okay. Um, I think that's a good place to end the stream. So let's, let's um, do a raid. So um, it looks like I'm going to need to follow this Stargoid guy. Because um, I was not somebody I'm currently following. So, Right, so I'm following him now. Oh, hey, Commander Can I... Thanks for hitting the follow button. Can I Commander Overseer, thanks for the follow. Can I send you to him? Welcome aboard. We're 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 tickling caustic generator thingies. Because you know. Right, here we go. Right, so I'm stopping the right now. I don't know. Um yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Um I hope you enjoyed the stream. I'll be back again soon uh with um selling the data at the fleet carrier. So yeah, I'll see you again soon. Caustic thingies are all the rage to me. Okay, so now what do I do? I got a caustic thingy. Now do I blow him up? Oh! Oh! A raid! Commander, overseer! Oh, no, don't run into the cloud of goo. Commander Overseer dropping in with a raid. Nice to have you with us. You can shoot it now for the other maps you need. Okay. Thank you for the follow so maps. If I can find it again. I don't even know where I left it. <laughs> that crap. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to go near that. Thanks for the raid, Commander Overseer. Right, Thank okay. So, um, yeah, I just raided everybody over to Stargoid, and thanks for watching, and that's the end of the stream.